welcome to By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. Last time we talked about how we can use recipes to teach math skills to our kids. Right. And we, in fact, you were talking about the measurement cups. And, and so it looks like we're going to do some more cookies. Yeah. Good. So this time, instead of just the measurement, let's go into how we can use the recipe to actually help teach about addition of fractions. Okay. Or multiplication of fractions, depending on how we look at it. Okay. Kay. So it looks like we have in your recipe here that you've found for us one and two-thirds cups all-purpose flour, three-fourths teaspoon baking soda, one-half cup white sugar, two teaspoons... Two cups. Oh, sorry, I can't even... That's I can't even... Two teaspoons, two teaspoons wouldn't enough. nearly be enough. No. Two cups of chocolate Chuck chips and a half cup packed brown sugar, and that would make two dozen cookies. So right there you've got the math problem, because what is two dozen? Well, this is only one dozen here. Okay. So we have only 12. We only have half the recipe there. We only have half the recipe. 12 would be one dozen, so if we double it, 24 would make our so two dozen. So we could actually talk about not only multiplication of fractions, but we could talk about division or, or subtraction because that would only oh, make yeah. half the recipe. So we could actually half them. That's as well. correct. But let's do what you said first. Let's I want to do, double. Let, you, I want more cookies. You want to make four want dozen more. cookies. Okay. Okay. I want to make four dozen. I'm going to turn the board around okay. so I can do some thinking. Okay. Okay. We want to make four dozen cookies. All right. Okay. So. Which, which ingredient do you want to start with? I know which one I want to start with. I like those chocolate chips the best, but... Okay, so you've got the chocolate chips. Give me something else to okay. figure out. How about if you work on the packed brown sugar? It takes a half a cup to half make... Half a cup. A half a cup. To make two, two dozen. dozen. Okay, I'm going to write this up here for me. Okay. Okay. So I'm, we want to make four dozen, so we just need to double it. Right. So if I have a half a cup, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to do it differently. The hmm. eraser's down there. Okay. So I'm going to draw my half a cup like this. Okay. okay. So if I'm going to have a half a cup for one, and then I have to need another half a cup for another one, I could actually just fill this up because that makes the other half right here. Right. So I would need one whole cup. One cup for t four dozen. That was easy enough. Well, that then, how about if you do the baking soda? Okay. For the baking soda, it takes three fourths of a teaspoon. Ooh, that's not very. You know, I just kind of do a smidgen of this and a no, smidgen no, no, of no. that. No, no, no. Let's make sure the cookies turn out right. Okay, three fourths of a teaspoon. Of a teaspoon. Okay. So I've got to double that. You've got to double okay. it. Okay. I'm going to draw that like here's my teaspoon, a whole teaspoon. Okay. So that's a half a teaspoon. Okay, so that's my teaspoon, and I'm putting it into force because I needed, this is for one, two dozen. Right. And then to make my other dozen, I'm going to need another teaspoon ready here. Right. And I've got to fill three-fourths. Right. So here's one of my three-fourths, two of my three-fourths, three of my three-fourths. Uh-huh. So, right here, this would be one whole teaspoon and a half of another, or two-fourths of another, or one and one-half teaspoon. Okay, and I love the way you're drawing the pictures because I think that would really help children to actually see what it is you're doing when you double. Yeah, and you could, you know, as you were talking the last time, we could also use this, but you don't always have the measuring cups in school when we're trying to double fractions or multiply them. Right. So, like you said, drawing pictures is a great skill. It is. Okay, you going to do one? Okay. I know what you want to do. You want to do the chocolate chips. Okay. So okay. for chocolate chips. For the chocolate chips, you need two cups. I need two cups. Oh. Lucky me. Lucky you. For two dozen cookies. Uh-huh. Okay. So if I have one whole cup mm -hmm. of chocolate chips and the second whole cup for chocolate chips, that's one dozen, mm -hmm. but I need to double it. So I'm going to get another whole cup and another whole cup going to be four cups. Wow, that's a lot of chocolate. Uh-huh. I like that. Okay. So, any kind of recipe. Of course, chocolate chips are always great because ki what kid doesn't like to make chocolate chips? Cookies, you know. So, just taking any recipe and just talking about making it bigger or making it smaller. Like Absolutely. you said, we could have gone smaller. We could have gone smaller since we only ended up with a dozen. We mm. could have cut everything in half. 
Can I try one of those just to see what uh, it looks like? Sure, why Don't not? give me too hard of one, though. Okay, let's see. Ooh, hmm. How about, I don't want one you have to convert. Well, let's do one half cup white sugar. We haven't done the one half cup white sugar. Okay. If so you have to, that's for one dozen. That's one, okay, half cup is for two dozen. Oh, sorry, that's right. Okay, and so we here's make, my half a cup. And that's if I were going to make the whole thing of two dozen. But we only make cut back and only do half the recipe. So I'm going to cut my half in half. Uh huh. Which is going to end up being one fourth. That's correct. So you would it only took two fourths to make the half. That's right. So it take a half a fourth. So we could actually draw a picture of that as well. Uh huh. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of By the Numbers. And using recipes is a great way to teach some math skills. Absolutely. Find out more information at My Kids Turn.